channel. Thanks so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new, welcome, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another one and done or wash and go using one product only. So if you have not seen my last one and done or one product wash and go, I will put the link above there so you can click on it. So today I'm going to be using a product from the Care Care line, and this is my first time purchasing anything from Care Care. I've seen their products numerous times in Sally's. I've also seen many YouTube videos about it. In particular, my friend April Ray. April Ray TV is her channel. Please check her out. She has an amazing channel. She talks a lot about Care Care. She is a huge Care Care fan. So finally, I am getting my first product from Care Care. So I only got one product. That's all I needed just for this style. So I decided to pick up the new product they have, uh, which is the Curl Essence. This is the Moisturizing Curling Jelly. So I'm very excited to try this product. I've heard a lot about Care Care and their products for a while and I've heard that it's a really great brand. So I'm very excited to try and see how it does on my hair. So I'm comparing this product to the last one I did uh, for my one product wash and go, which is from Talia Wajid's Curly Curl Cream. So that product was much thicker and denser and it required my hair to be drenched in order to work the product with my hair. So I did have a really great turnout with that product. So I'm hoping I would get a really great uh, turnout with this product as well. So my hair is freshly washed. I just have it pinned up. I have no product in my hair whatsoever. It's just dripping wet. So the product claims of this product, it says it's for natural three to four type hair. I am between three and four type hair. It says that it's moisturizing. It says it will leave your hair soft, manageable, healthy, great hold, and frizz-free definition without flaking or leaving behind a chalky cast on your hair. It's free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, silicones, phthalates, 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 and petrolatum. It's alcohol free for superb moisture when setting curls and coils. Um, let me also take a look. Let me take a look at the inside. I need to show y'all the inside of it. So the consistency of this product, it's kind of watery. It's definitely a lot looser than the Curly Curl Cream from uh, Talia Wajid. I can't lean it over all the way without wasting it, so I'm just gonna zoom the camera down. And just to check the consistency of the product, it definitely feels like a very moisturizing product. Very slimy, about slimy consistency. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. So it feels really good and it smells really good as well. So I'm very excited to try this product. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video, get started, and we'll just see how my hair turns out with this product. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started.
thoughts and opinion of this um, moisturizing curling jelly. So the product claims is that it's moisturizing. I will say yes, it is moisturizing. It definitely felt moisturizing. I will say that it did define my curls. As far as the definition, it did give me definition for my hair. It did give some definement. Um, a very soft moisturizing hold. As far as the frizz go, I would say, I can't see it, I have to look at the mirror. Um, I feel like when it dries, it's definitely going to be a, a frizzy bush. On the left hand side, as soon as I applied this product to my hair, my hair was still wet. Uh, my hair tensed up. My hair was like, girl, what is you doing? Like it, my hair tensed up like really bad and it was hard to get the product uh, into my hair as, as far as the slip goes and the manageability it just was not happening again no product on this side just straight gel that I was using and my cuticles just just closed up they just immediately just shut down it just drew up my hair tense and it was very difficult getting the product work through my hair my hair did not like it it just did not like it so I had to stop as you saw and this was supposed to have been a one and done or one product wash and go that just wasn't happening so I had to end up using the TGIN because I felt like it needed some type of a, a base uh, product to be able to get the product the gel work better into my hair and so I noticed that once I applied the buttercream on my hair and then applied the curling jelly, it was definitely more manageable and softer and I can work the product better into my hair. It feels very strawy on this side. Um, this side is definitely more uh, fuller and more softer, more manageable. This product uh, retails like $6 and some change. This is a 11 ounce, 11.25 ounce jar. I would not buy this product again. <laughs> it just didn't do it for my hair. Not to not care care, because I'm pretty sure they have other products in their line that I would probably like. Um, and I'll try some other products, but this um, moisturizing jelly, just I just wasn't enthused. I just it, it just didn't do it for me. I I wanted to like this product. I thought that I would like this product, but again, my hair just tensed up upon application of it and it was just kind of like a wrap from there not thrilled not impressed but that's okay got some other products we can try in their line and i'll be trying some other products and bringing it your way and see if i have a better outcome than this time around so my battery died again i hate that but anyway that gave my hair time to dry so i'm back on camera but I figured since my battery battery was charging, let me just go ahead and just let this air dry. And that way I can see if there's a cast, if, there, if there's any flaking, or just have my hair looks and feels once it's fully dry. From what I noticed on the side where I did just the um, moisturizing uh, jelly only, it feels a little, a little crunchier. It definitely has a little bit more frizz. It looks dry. And it's still kind of shriveled up a little bit more. It has more shine on this side, on the right side than the left side. The, sh the shrinkage is definitely real. I have major, major hair shrinkage. And I ain't even about to turn my hair around and look at the back. Because I ain't no telling what lies behind in the back. Because, oof. And I don't see any flaking. I don't see any residue. It looks like my hair dried fairly clear. So I just used my trusty little pick and just picked it out. Just picked my roots up just to give it some lift yeah 